And we can now move on to the next question. Number five, I think. Number five, the law of diminishing returns states that as one input variable is increased, there's a point at which A, the marginal per unit output decreases, B, the marginal per unit output is zero, C, the marginal per unit output is negative, and D, nothing is produced. Our junior tutor said that the correct answer is A, the marginal per unit output decreases, and they said that the law of diminishing marginal returns states that as we continue to add more of any one input, its marginal product will eventually decline. Uh, that's correct, and I did go over this before, but I think one class cuts the videos together, so I will go over it again. So first, I'll draw a graph. Um, I want to make sure I'm getting the axis is right. I think I am all. Nobody's labeling their axes, that's annoying. Regardless, um, we can say uh, the law of domination return states that as one input variable is increased, there's a point at which the marginal per unit output decreases. So as you saw kind of in the graphs there, first down here, we're going to have a higher slope. Then we do say up here, And what I'm doing is just taking a point tangent to the line at both of these locations. A good example of this is what I said earlier. That being that if I give somebody with no money at all, $100, uh, it's going to make a large difference to them. Uh, say in this point, we can talk about the law of diminishing returns to utility. Uh, so I guess actually I can label this money. And I can say utility. Um, so yeah, at this low point where you don't have a lot of money, say here, this is somebody with $500, something like that to their name. By at giving them an extra couple of dollars, um, here, we'll do it adding $500. So that's 500, call this a grand. So if somebody starts out with $500 and you give them another $500, as shown here on the x-axis, we can see this large increase in utility and over here. And say there's a break in my graph here and at this point here, we've got somebody like Jeff Bezos, somebody very rich. Don't remember Jeff Bezos' net worth off the top of my head. Hurts my feelings to look at. But, oh, that's ugly now. You know, if we've got somebody over here that is worth $3 billion, and we increase their net worth. As for the scale of things here, just bear with me. It's a general concept I'm trying to illustrate. If we increase their net worth an extra $500, you know, we might see that their utility only increases by this very small difference up here. Very small increase in utility from another $500 when you're already that rich. So when you don't have much, this same amount of money means a lot to you, as illustrated here. But when you've already amassed a lot of money, it means a lot less in the future. 
Um, it's correct. I'd say I'd give you guys a minute to take a picture of that chart, but it's hideous, so you probably don't even want it. Thank <laughs> you.